Okay, what's a simple way to show momentum fighting acceleration? Obviously we have the inertial plane facing topwards on this 2x2 two by, two by 1 inch neodymium iron boron block magnet. So we have one pole over on this side, another pole on this side, and then we're going to use a sphere magnet, which also has the likewise split right down the center. But if we spin it right up here, where it's perfectly going around and around the edge, and then we bring it down, what would happen? You would have the momentum fighting the polarity of the field interference between this magnet and the spherical magnet, correct? So what do you think the result would be? Should you stop this video and think about that? Is it a brain teaser or is it really simple? So instead of traveling round and round as I'm able to carefully as best as I can by hand spin it, what would actually happen to the uh, elliptical path of the spherical magnet since it has a forward momentum as it's going around the inside, what would actually happen? Because that momentum would cause its field to conflict along a certain point of the path, so how would that change its trajectory from this to what? What would the trajectory of the spherical magnet take? Let me get it spinning up as best as I can here. As evenly as I can. spin it the other way up there. This is really scientific, isn't it? Okay, here we have a little bit of the field. I have to make sure I'm positioned dead center over the top of the magnet while I lower it. Enough of that noise, right? So we actually have the trajectory changing. We have two things fighting each other. We have the acceleration of one pole of the spherical magnet either accelerating towards or being forced away from fighting the forward momentum as it's spinning around the top. But we have two different field polarities here. And as it's traveling through those different field polarities, it's fighting the forward momentum that I'm placing upon it to spin around the inside of that sphere with the polarity of its own pole along a certain axis along that forward momentum such that instead of spinning like this what will happen is it will change to this elliptical or that elliptical necessitatively so. so Pressure mediation, by simplex definition, necessitates to keep that forward momentum, which can't be dissipated easily, to keep that forward momentum going, but to maintain the conflict with the polarity underneath it, as it's changing, it must go from this to this or to this, correct? Could you visualize that before I told you that or before I showed you that? The question is, could you visualize that? But now that you understand it, well actually now that you've seen it, do you understand it? This was a really complex experiment, wasn't it? Yet something this, um, this uh, simplex trips up the minds of a lot of people. This is what it is right here. It's a simple little spherical magnet. It's not a steel ball. It's a spherical neodymium iron boron half inch, like an N48 gauss. You can see the polarity there. So hope that made you think because when you think your brain works and too often you're watching television and your brain isn't working okay bye